Okay, here's the next spot, the battery at Yiling. If you are victorious, then this land of Shu will become yours, will it not? I will not lose. So that's how it will be. With this, a full half of the land will be under my lord's control. That means only half the land to go. Alright, as always the intro. Thanks to the efforts of Lu Bu and Diao Chan, Dong Zhuo is able to rout Lu Bei's forces. Lu Bu had come to see Diao Chan as more than a comrade in arms, and on her advice he quickly retreats to Wu. The Shu forces immediately take advantage of Lu Bu's absence and advance into Jing, camping at Yiling along the Changjian River. Meanwhile, back in Wu, Lu Bu has organized a large force to march on Yiling. Where Lu Bu went, Diao Chan always followed. Through her words, Lu Bu was beginning to see another enemy behind the Shu forces at Yi Ling. Diao Chan's plan is progressing smoothly. Alright, the equipment, the weapon, we have a level 3 weapon, so we're going to use it. The items, I'm going to leave them the way they are. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I'm going to actually switch to the Vine Gauntlet. Since it's not been much of use lately, and I'm going to change it for the elixir, even though it's only plus five. The bodyguards are still at six. Um, yeah, and the equipment here is the same. I mentioned that we, I thought that we had a level two bodyguard uh, pike, but we did not. Uh, yeah, I think you mentioned. Uh, I did put it in the, in the uh, description, in the last video, but uh, unfortunately, yeah, we still have that level one pike. Anyway, uh, the conditions, if Liu Bei is defeated, we win, if Lu Bu is defeated, or if I die, we lose, it's a game over, plain and simple, unit info, I mean, it's nothing special with the uh, Dong Zhuo's forces, but uh, I'm just letting you know right now, looking at the enemy's forces, it's only Liu Bei with five sub-officers, Ma Chao and Huang Zhang, there's more than meets the eye with these three. Um, you'll see what I mean once we get there, but, uh, yeah, once, you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, uh, it may look easy, but it's a lot harder than it looks. I mean, I'm not saying it's hard as hell, but it's not as easy as he thought it would be. Anyway, we did the intro, so let's do it. My spear will be shown to all. Frontline troops, begin the attack. I shall prove that I am worthy, worthy of my lord. Oh, there's one down right away. I defeated an officer. Now we're gonna go for two. Alright, there should be another guard captain somewhere. Okay, so basically what's going on over there There is a little bit of trouble going on with Zhang Liao um, If 
because Zhang Liao's morale, uh, well, it's at three at the moment, but before, uh, I can't even say it because uh, I'm not so sure if it's accurate, but if Zhang Liao gets killed, then both Li Jue and Guo Si both retreat. But uh, I have played this in the past, and I remember Zhang Liao getting killed and the fire attack happening, but he gets killed after the fire attack and neither of these two retreated, so I am not so sure if that's accurate. I defeated an officer. I, the only thing I could assume is it has to happen before. Yeah, it has to happen before the fire attack. Oh, and the fire attack, right. There is a fire attack in this battle. How to cause it? Well, you need to keep Galshun alive. Kill that god captain wherever he was. I know one of them drops a weapon. That's not it. Don't even dare think about it. Alright, this has to be it. If I see health again, I'm going to be pissed. There we go. Of course it takes the fourth one to do it. And now Zhang Liao is getting killed off like flies. Well, his sub officers, I should say. Zhang Liao is apparently fine since he's over there, as in there. But we can't hold them much longer. We need help. Battle can only bring victory or death. Choose wisely. But yeah, that's the thing right there. As long as Zhang Liao doesn't get killed, that's fine by me. We'll go and kill Huang Xuan next. Strike that. Let's go for Wei Yan next. Because Zhang Liao is going to get killed very quickly if Wei Yan's up there. I, you, destroy. Hmm. So they join. All right, so that's one of the ambush parties down. Don't get too hasty. We must wait for reinforcements. All right, now let's go for Huang Xuan. Since Wei Yan is defeated, Zhang Liao shouldn't have trouble killing those sub officers. Now, where's... Oh, he's up there. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Come on. Let me show you the ways of the world. Okay, we could go for Huang Zhang as, instead. That works too. Yeah, so Huang Xuan's down there. Alright. Another one down. My lord is going to think I am getting old. We must be triumphant. Splendid. 
Alright, now Huang Swain. You know, I find it amusing that a bajillion people will start attacking you after level 5 or stage 5. Alright, so that's another ambush party down. Wow, I don't... Alright, let's finish them all off. Alright, now this should make things a little easier. Alright, so now we're going to go for Shamok. Shamok is down here. And Ma Liang as well. And then now Shamok. Okay, now since we clear that gate, Zhuge Liang should appear. Or once you. Well, Zhuge Liang appears somewhere. I, doesn't he appear after you clear Tom Gate? Well, not Tom Gate. Uh, once that gate opens? Because one, that's what happened. It's been a while since I played it. Um. Let's go for Zhao Yun then. We'll see what happens. I think he might have to enter the the stone warrior maze. Let's see here. I don't know. So we have Zhao Yun and Ma Chao left up here. And uh does Ma Chao have any sub officers? One. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna go and defeat Ma Chao. Since we're we ready to defeat him, I die. Now we're gonna go and defeat Ma Chao and then Zhao Yun. Alright, 
destroy thee with a single blow. Alright, that's another one down. So we have left is Zhao Yun. And then we're gonna enter the Stone Warrior maze. Actually, no, we have to go back to Um Now he he appears. Now I have to take a look at the event guide thing that I saw. Hang on. Zhao Yun's up there. Okay. They look strong. Take heart. At last, a worthy opponent. Let's go for it. I defeated an officer. So much for it, plus eight. Oh, such incredible strength. Yeah, that troop just got in my way. Yeah, I was trying to go for a 24 combo so I could get the plus eight gold shield. Not shield, sword. Wow. Shield's defense. Anyway, we have to go up here because, well, like I said before, every time I play a battle, I'm going to show off where the Dim Sum Musa wines are. Doesn't look good. So, if you go over here, and if I'm not mistaken, it was the single pot. Yep. Okay, so that's one. That's where the dim sum is, and the Musu wine is in the Stone Warrior maze. Typically, if you're playing the Battle of Yiling, where Liu Bei marches at Wu at Yiling, it's called a Stone Sentinel maze. But this time we went around, it's called a Stone uh, Stone Warrior maze. Don't know. Like I said, it's one of those things where I have no idea, and I can't even answer the question since that's not my territory. As in, like, I didn't make the game. That's like a thing, that's a question that you have to ask the people that made the game. Anyway, so we're gonna enter the Stone Warrior maze and, uh. Yeah. And there should be only one sub officer that appears in here, and that's Lei Tong. That's one of Liu Bei's sub officers. So once you go in here, Okay, so go over here. There's Lei Tong. Okay, so we defeat him. And no, it doesn't show the, our location after that. I defeated an officer. Okay, so now let's not get attacked. So now, simply for the fact that there's really no troops in this maze, we're just going to continue on going. I guess that's one of the good things about this maze this time around, not having that many troops. That's not where the Musa one is. Okay. If you go up here more, typically it would be your way out would be right here. However, go up more, 
you'll see two clay pots. Break them. One of them contains health, because I just found out now. The other one contains the Musa wine, and that's where the Musa wine is. Anyway, let's get out of this maze. A lot quicker than normal or any other time that we have done it before, so let's get out. We got away. That was very close. And we don't have that much left. All we have to do is defeat Zhuge Liang and Liu Bei. That's it. So, let's do that. First, Zhuge Liang. Okay, once I get up, another person attacks me. Great. So let's secure this gate. I'm just assuming that the gate is uh, letting troops out. Well, the troops are coming out through that gate, so I'm just making sure that it gets secured. Assuming that if that's the case. If that made any sense. Well, now no more troops will be coming out of there, if they were to begin with. Alright, let's go for it. Sweet, a plus eight. I can't believe I was unable to repay Lu Bei's trust. Yeah, it's kinda nice getting those gold shields. Don't know why. I mean, yes, it's a plus eight, and that's the highest thing you can get. But for some reason, it feels more accomplished to me getting a gold shield over a gold sword. I don't know why. It's just I just have that weird habit of that. So anyway, let's get the 150 before we face Liu Bei. I mean, we're almost done. All that's left is Liu Bei. As for the rest of you, fight harder. You know, I realized we're already at 150, and now we're at 170. So now we're gonna go and defeat Liu Bei. But let's do one very important thing before we do that, and that is secure that gate. For the restoration of the empire. Because I see that troops are coming out of that gate. So let's secure that gate so there will be nothing left. I mean, it's not like I'm going for a KO count anyway. Now let's go defeat Liu Bei. What was that back there? Oh. 
Nothing important. Yeah, I'll do the rest by foot. Battle Axe, my favorite. Wow, really? He just got his health back, really? Alright, now I'm ready to finish him off. He didn't even have much health to... I didn't even take much health away from him. And he just got his health back. Alright. Alright, let's do it the cheap way. Alright, let's kill this sergeant first, then let's take care of him. Well, if he's running away, that's not going to help. Because his guards... Ugh! Not cool. Really not cool. He just got his health back again! Alright. Let's take care of his guards first, because it's just getting really annoying of him getting his health back. Okay, I swear to God, if I die here, that's gonna be... You know what? I just realized something. There's a full health over here. Let's go grab it. If you're gonna get health back, then, you know, might as well me, right? There's too many... I thought we killed all of his guards. Then what did I kill? The guards of the guard captain? Alright. As long as I don't screw up or troops come in my way, we should be fine. Or my bodyguards start to attack him. He needs to get out of my way. Like, now. He needs to get out of my way. Maybe I should have kept him at defense. Hey, this guy is screwing me up. Like there's no tomorrow. Now I really hope he gets killed. Like, don't you have that thing where just, other than the obey shielding it up, like there's no freaking tomorrow. Goodbye. My brother, I'm sorry to say, but I must break our own. That's a win. And that took too long. That took more than it should have been. Anyway, I was gonna ask, don't you have that, don't, don't you hear sometimes where your own troops get in your way of doing something and all of a sudden it screws you up like there's no tomorrow like that happened to me right there? Anyway, it took 22 minutes. It should have been a lot shorter than that simply because, well, you pay guys health back twice in a row. Anyway, um, weapons. We only got a level two, a level, ooh. Yeah, let's, um, even though there's two battles left, and I'm not going to have that weapon ever again after this, th so let's just stick with that. And attack, it doesn't matter. We already have a level 3 weapon. Now the items. Nothing really special, since we already have better of that. We don't have a single bodyguard item or weapon. Are you kidding me? So we'll stick with that level 1 pike still. Great. Anyway, 
Um, the KO count is at 193, so our points is 186, which is eh, seven points less. Anything that's the point value is less than the KO is still negative to me, just because the number in general. Um, our, where the opponent count is 15. Took me a while to count there, don't know why, but uh, we kept all six of our bodyguards alive. Even though one of them should have been gone because of the stuff that was happening, but that's just me being biased. Anyway, um, we got a growth point, so I'm trying to remember what I used. Uh, great. It's been a while since I used it. I think I have to increase the life in Musu again. So, we'll just do that. And we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you for the next part. Peace.